Greta Van Fleet, here's the great divide. Okay. They're a rip-off band, they're a Zeppelin rip-off band, man. You, you know, that's all they are. You know, the guy right. kind of sounds like Robert Plant, and I have nothing to do with him. And then on <laughs> his side right. of the field, it, right. it, which is my side, is yes, they got their start with the Led Zeppelin sound, which itself is a conglomeration going back to the 30s, 40s, and 50s, folks. So yeah. here's the thing. When you say they're a ripoff band, you're dead wrong. And here's right. why. Here's why. They just merely went back as their albums, whether you like them or not, have right. shown they've gone beyond that first album. What was that? After the fires, before the fires, from the fires. Anyway, that's yeah. my favorite of them because they sound a lot like Led Zeppelin. You got to get back to the basics. You got to get back to the blues. If there's no blues in your rock and roll, exactly. you ain't got rock and roll. No. Okay? You ain't got rock and roll. Uh, even yes, they'll go into this symphonic thing and all of a sudden, and that seventh note is snagged in there. Just perfect to add just, <laughs> just a touch of blues to let you know, no, we haven't gone too far. All right? So right. it's got to have blues. All right. And it, uh, it has to pay homage to that which came before, because this is the art form we know as classic rock. And that you build from the school, from the rock, you know, for you are Peter. Right. And upon this rock, I shall build my holy <laughs> Mount Rock Olympus. Right, Royce? Right. Okay, right. so yeah. so all of that's got to always be taken into consideration. When, when we're talking about what can save rock, uh, what do older rock gods have to offer anymore? Evidently, right. uh, at the uh, that silly, insane uh, sphere in Las Vegas, you two, uh, just now, they, they did their last show, and they did a sing-along. Uh, with an what? artist I don't even know him, uh, oh, taped over just like Paul singing along with John at his concerts, right? And uh, right, right. Bono even admitted this. Now we haven't gotten shit from you two in a long time, including that last piece of crap album they put out, forty whatevers, right? And so he says live. He says this live. We're turning tonight's show in to a recording session get ready get ready for the live album folks because they ain't got no new music it's time for you two to go to bed all right <laughs> because they're not offering us anything anymore i wouldn't pay a dime to go see them you know and i love that album that they've been residencing uh you know uh octone baby's a great album you know, but I want I, when I go see somebody, I want to see somebody offer me something a little bit different. We, we've just been joined of a, by another co-host, and that is Melissa Boomer of the Night. How are you? <laughs> hey, Hi, Melissa. Great. Thank <laughs> you. Good. Thank you for having me. Hi to oh, everyone. Oh no, no. Th thank you for joining us. How are you doing? I, I give deference to all of you because I'm not a vinyl head. I have had a lot of vinyl heads in my life, and I think you all okay. are so. Much they should have kept liner notes around. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> for sure. I miss liner notes. Oh I dug God. them up for some of my dives on my old channel, Dark Side of the Tune. Anyway, I'm not promoting anything. That's not my point. But, it, it you know, to support my, uh, Michael's point, I like Greta Van Fleet because, for one thing, I didn't even hear them as the Zeppelin copycat. And I'm a huge, that's my favorite band. And okay, okay. I, didn't hear the copycat part until everybody started saying it then you then you kind of could see it huh yeah of course i could okay. but then i was like okay leave them alone like <laughs> right <laughs> right you know uh <laughs> melissa i i just i discovered them like a lot of people did uh, when they were doing all these tiny desk concerts on the npr and you know channels like that i heard it right away and that's why I liked it, you know. But uh, that connection, that Led Zeppelin connection, never offended me from word go. 
uh, they were completely different songs. They they stood on their own. That they call it an EP, but I I consider it an album. I think it clocks in what at thirty six minutes uh, or no thirty two minutes something like that. And they consider that an EP, but to me that's an album. You know, uh, right, you've got a, right. over a half hour of uh, material. That's that's no longer a true EP, or at least EPs that we grew up with for the most part. Right, you know? right. In rock and roll, anyway. But I loved them. I, I loved them, and uh, my daughter is a major uh, uh, Greta Van Fleet fan, so okay. we went to go see them. And I got to tell you, it was one of the hottest shows I've ever been, uh, been to, and I think we paid maybe 150 bucks a ticket. So okay. under okay. $500, we had a gay old time, um, my wife and I and my daughter. Music. We turn on the classic rock radio station when we get in the car. <laughs> oh, you know, uh, yeah. uh, you, uh, Melissa's talking about a stripped down sound. I think that's key beyond right. just the blues. Uh, Rival Sons, we've talked right. about them. We've talked yeah. about Dorothy. We've talked about uh, Dor my Dorothy. favorite hot new band besides Greta Van Fleet, Dirty Honey. All right. And Dirty Honey snuck up the charts there all on their own. They had no backing and oops, contracts were signed and, and everything like that. So there is new talent out there. But when we have organizations like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, bring up more and praise hip hop and uh, rap artists. Right. I, and everybody goes, all they need to do is change the name of the show. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. It was established as the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Demand more of it. Take right. it back. Don't destroy it. And then uh, proactively, once we've got it back in our own control, Kick out every damn uh, hip hop and rap artist. If you love that kind of music, start your own damn organization. Stay out of ours. <laughs> well, there's yeah. a there is a hip hop. Um, Good. Rap. Good <laughs> as there should be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And a um, country one. And yeah. yeah. Oh, the CMAs are even bigger than the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame by far. Yeah. There and, you and go. I, yeah. And I do have. But don't own. pervert one because of its prestige because none of those have the prestige of the rock and roll hall of fame uh, right now they don't they just don't and they don't have the longevity all of that so i'm sorry you know i i like the idea of a rock and roll hall of fame what is the big freaking sin about Keeping it rock and roll. You're also talking about another thing that you thought was a good idea, and I do too. You know, the fans vote, but they don't count for shit. You know, they they do this big count uh, vote. Uh, who was the big vote winner that didn't even get nominated? Uh, uh, girls just want to have fun. Uh, Lopper. Cindy Lauper. Yeah, Cindy Lauper from yeah. last what year. What are you talking about, Michael? She didn't she, get in. No, she didn't. That's what I'm saying. But she was the one of the number one or number two on the fan voting. I okay? know. It doesn't count for that. shit. That's wrong. Well, you know? well, check check out Michael Chavez's com com comment. You know, Beyonce is coming out with the country. Oh, album. God. I know. And Beyonce oh. ain't country. No, oh. she is not country. No more than Dolly Parton's rock, although she's trying very yeah. hard to be with, you know, playing oh. with the Beatles. Ex Why Not is that hard. The, the, the rock the and roll existing. Hall. Michael, that one upsets me more. The Madonna is in the rock and roll. The Whitney is in the rock and roll. Well, Madonna's yeah. Madonna's rock and roll or pop pop rock, whatever. And she's uh, been... <laughs> not to me, but okay, not to me. She don't no. belong there. Well, what no. what what genre would you put her in? Madonna. Pop. She's pop. Okay. Okay. Or dance pop. Well, well, I, there, well, I, uh, I, I, she puts out one out of every 32 songs that might have some rock influence. Don't make her rock. Sorry. You know, okay. Pat Boone putting out a metal album doesn't make Pat Boone a rocker. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Pat. Royce, it you took know? until 2014 to put in Linda Ronstadt. 
the biggest oh, wow. rocker of the 70s. And yet, because Ben Fong oh. Torres was best friends with Bonnie Raitt, they put okay. her in in 2000. Now, I love Bonnie Raitt, but yeah, why yeah. did they put Linda Ronstadt in 14 years Oh, after? she should have She should have been in 20 years before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. she should have been in the yeah. first year she was eligible. Eligible, yes. Okay. Now, 1998 because the eagles were her backing band i that just you damn right yeah wow. wow yeah michael and i yeah. both have winner for the rock and roll <laughs> <laughs> you know i mean uh, they developed their sound the eagle sound working with her writing songs in the background and then when they were ready to make their move like a true icon who represents something beyond just making a buck they said well, we really want to do this band, but we don't want to leave you for she go go do it. Go do right. it. She offered them, she was backing them there. She should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame just for being a popular singer who did that right. alone. Right, right, right. Check out you check know. out J check out James Watson's statement. I have it up on the screen. Beyonce is from Texas. She's more country than this little Canadian boy will ever be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, from that great uh, country album where what? She's wearing a 32-foot blonde wig. No appropriation <laughs> there. I demand revenge. But anyway, and she's uh, laying naked on a glass horse. Well, yeah, she's okay. got a horse. Maybe I'm that is with, cowboy. I'm good, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Yeah. <laughs> I often wondered who listens to some of these artists. You know, like Have you ever I heard listen. Of I listened to that one album because I was going to do a video on it, and it was all, you know, you know, girl, you know, she my homie, baby, you know, and and yeah. all of that, you my know, homie, trying baby, yeah. trying to sound like she's from the ghetto and she's some multi millionaires living <laughs> right. in in the riviera fucker, man I'm, good I'm, lord if i said i yeah. didn't really listen talk to, to me girl <laughs> i'd be lying if i said i didn't listen to hip-hop i listened to uh, it like early well, 2000s hip-hop i listened to it for to dance and clean and i have fun but i don't yeah. expect other people to you know, I have I, I I've heard some good hip hop. I, I have to admit that. Okay, uh, and uh, I just ask them to color in the lines. Stay in your own yard. That's I, all. Uh, you know, I have. I, it's not like I'm trying to tear down these other art forms. They're art forms. All right. They're not my favorite, and that's why most of the time here on the show we're talking about classic rock. People go get over classic rock, man. Never, man. Never. You get over Never. it. Wow. Not me.